Your hair tool preferences, they really can change a look. The tools that you use for your hair or somebody that you see online and you want to create that for yourself, there's a chance that you might not be able to. But I'm going to break this down for you right now. And at the end of this, I'm going to tell you my very favorite hair tools and give you a key tip that you can use with how you curl your hair to have better success at those curls and what you do. Truth be told, I love recording in my in my bedroom when it comes to these tutorials because the lighting is excellent. But when it comes to needing plugins, well, that is going to come down to what's in my bathroom. <laughs> so we're going to break this down in the bathroom. There might little be a little more of an echo, but hopefully you love this video and you now fully understand what it is that is making such a difference for all of this. All right. I'm going to break down all the different hair tools that I have here. This is the Laduo from Launch. This is a hair wand. This one is one inch. This one is the La Volume from Launch. It's by far my favorite. I, the Revlon one, like throw it away. I mean, not really, but really. <laughs> um, this is a flat iron. And then we have some sort of curling iron. This is a one and a quarter um, curling iron. This one was extremely inexpensive. It's in a, a Con Air line. But what's cool about this one, I remember how to do it. This can come on. So you can use it as a wand or you can use it as a curly iron. You just slide it in. And I can give the links to everything. You can also find my Amazon storefront where I try to link as many things as I possibly can over on there to make it way more simplified. Or you can go to my like to know it page as well to find links and um, you can shop them too. These are all gonna give you a different outcome. Um, the one that I use the absolute most right now would be a flat iron or a one and a quarter um, curling wand or whatever. But I'm going to show you some very simple things that are going to make a difference for how you utilize tools. Why do different hair tools change the look? It's literally how you use them. Blow drying is not blow drying. It's not blow drying. Using a blow dryer and a round brush with this, it's going to give you pretty close to the same look. Um, it is going to be different. Uh, because of the size that this goes, round brushes can get up that root and create a lift um, a lot easier than this can. But this is going to mimic that as as much as it can. It's also going to help you not have the frayed ends. They're going to curl under. Whereas if you're just blow drying your hair, you're not getting that out of it. A curling iron versus a curling wand. These can give you two different things. And I'm gonna walk you through those two different things that they're gonna give you. So when you see a hairstylist that are using these tools, this is something to pay super close attention to because they are gonna make or break your curl and your look. So we'll get these both turned on. I'm gonna utilize this one as if it's a curling iron, not, it can do both, but not at that today. And when I create a curl, I am going to, with a curling iron, I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to create that curl and notice that everything is flat on the iron. Okay. This gives a completely different curl than one with a wand. Even when I come in and do this, even when I twirl it, what you've seen me do on Instagram, if you're not following me on Instagram, it's Jocelyn.McClellan, but these are going to give you completely different looks. When I go in with a wand, and let's try and pull the same size and I'm doing a wrap that look. It's interchanging. They are spinning like a rope. They're coming in together. They're not laying flat on the hair. These are going to give it completely different looks. So let me get this one heated up right because it wasn't all the way hot yet. Okay, completely different looks. And you'll see too that how it holds itself together is way different than this other one. This is a lot looser of a look. So when you go and create these curls, you will not have the same exact results. So that's something to pay attention to as well. Now with the curling iron tool, you can utilize it with just, if you only have a curling iron, if you don't have a wand, you can hold it open. Oops, let me go the same direction. You could hold it open and keep it in place there. You can close the clamp on it if you want, but if you're somebody that you feel that you get that clamp line in there and you don't like, you can do this. Now, this is having the exact same 
wrap the rope rack as the wand did. So this no longer by holding this, doing it this way and not using it as a curling iron, it will not have that same look as this one did. And you'll see that they are two different looks, even though these two irons, this is tighter, this is looser, they're going to give closer to the same look because it's a rope wrap and not a flat wrap. Take those out and I'm going to replace with the Leduo and a flat iron. When you ask yourself, why can't I use a curling iron? When you get that crimp in your hair, more than likely the reason why you're getting that crimp is because you are taking it at an angle that the curling iron needs to, doesn't, isn't best for it. So when you take it and you clamp it in, you have to follow the angles perfectly. If this part that is sticking out is coming back, that's going to create that creasing that you want it to flow with the actual direction of the hair. That's going to make that difference for that in that regard. Now, this is the Leduo. I'm going to turn off the fan just so you can hear me a little bit better. But this hair tool has a fan that goes through it to kind of cool it uh, quicker than it would be cooled if you were just using it without one. So that's what the fan is on. But for video purposes, I'm just going to turn it off just the fan part. So it's still on, but the fan part is off. Now, people want to know if a Leduo and a flat iron can give you the exact same results because they both have the flat iron on the inside, but they will give you a little bit different results because look, this one is going to curl with this size and this one is going to curl with its guide kind of being that you can follow with it being more rounded. So it is going to give it a little bit different, but if you see somebody using this hair tool and you only have this hair tool, they're going to be really close related. So I'm going to show you the difference in a curl with the flat iron versus those other hair tools that I already used. So this one, we'll try and take the same section size. This one, we're gonna come in here and you can actually use a flat iron multiple ways. I'm only gonna show you one way today because I'm gonna save that for another video. So make sure you like and, like and subscribe to this channel if you feel that there is content in here that you know you would love. So we're gonna come through here and we're just gonna twirl. I like to call this my ba ballerina curl. I do have tutorials on this, but you will see how that is completely changing and making a different look. It's gonna be closer to the curl of this. Why? Because it can only create a flat wrap. Everything has to stay flat within it, just like a curling iron, not like a wand. So it's gonna be as close to a curling iron if with a way different tool um, that you can have because of the whole flat wrap type situation that you come on through. And you'll see how that completely changed that curl versus these ones. Okay, now I'm gonna take the Leduo and let's, I'm gonna just take this one right here. So I'm gonna bring it and I'm just gonna follow it through, follow it through, follow it through, round it through and through. And you will see that this curl is a lot like the others, but this one is easier for me to follow through, follow through, follow through, because I know that this can guide me. It's somehow easier in the brain for it to guide you through. So it can make a more uniform, Whereas the flat iron, you can't control it as well. So that's where this comes into place. Any of my people who have a hard time using a, a, a flat iron, I feel like this tool is a good replacement if you just struggle with the whole turning part of that hair tool. All right, so as we see here, we have just using the curling iron as a curling iron, we have incorporated with a flat wrap. This is the flat wrap. We've incorporated a hair wand with a rope wrap, we have incorporated, this now is the curling iron that I held open to that has to be now a, a rope wrap. So flat wrap, rope wrap, rope wrap, flat wrap, flat wrap, okay? That's the difference in the tools. So they have to be flat wraps and this has to be a flat wrap in order for them to work right. The only one that you're going to be able to get into a rope wrap is this hair tool and this holding it open. All right, longevity of a curl. What is going to make the difference for you with longe longevity? A flat wrap, you can already tell that this one has flattened out. 
versus a rope wrap. A rope wrap is going to hold the curl longer. What else is going to help it to hold the curl longer is I love the look of the 1.25, the one and a quarter of a uh, the, the base, the wand, what curls it. This is a one inch. Which one's gonna hold the curl longer? This one. Which one am I gonna like the most for the style that I want immediately? This one. But as the day flows, if you are somebody that wants a curl to be held, you have to start out with something smaller. That is gonna make a big difference for you. Now do you know why different hair tools change the look? A different hair tool is going to make the biggest difference for what it is you're trying to accomplish. When you see people using something and you don't have it, can you create that look with, with what you currently have? If you see me using a flat iron and you have a Leduo instead, yes, you can create that look. It will be a tiny bit different. If you see me using a curling iron and you only have a flat iron, they are going to make pretty close to the same curl because they're both flat wraps, but the circle of this and the flat iron of this, this is a little bit more controlled in that way. If you see me using a hair wand and you only have a flat iron, those are going to give you completely different looks. So you would want to invest in one if you think it is important enough for the look that you're trying to go for. If you see me using a curling wand and you only have a curling iron, all you have to do is hold that open to achieve the look. If you see me using a one and a quarter and you only have a one inch, your look will look different immediately, but as the day goes by, it will turn into more so like this, especially on day two hair. So I hope this tutorial helped it make sense a lot more for you. The hair tool preferences that you might have is going to make a difference for the look that you have, but hopefully this broke it all down and you can get the look that you're wanting. Don't forget to follow me for quick tutorials, quick tips over on Instagram, jocelyn.mcclellan or Facebook where I go live and teach makeup and hair. It's Fit Mission Makeup with Jocelyn McClellan and you can subscribe to this channel as well. You can find me on Pinterest too. I have a website, fitmissionmakeup.com, kind of sorted on TikTok and hopefully you can find me anywhere that you want to find me. <laughs> If you have any questions, comment them below and I'm gonna give you one last thing. My personal preference when it, comes to, when it comes to curls is when I go in with just a one and a quarter, which I mentioned earlier, within my look. One of the things that you can do for your look is you can make everything go back, but I'm always doing my front back and or you can have some go forward. One of my biggest tips for you though, is if you are flat ironing, if you're a flat, this isn't turned on. If you're flat ironing your hair on day one, you will not be able to get that curl that you were looking for on day two. I'm gonna give you something that you can do with your flat iron since this one is turned on when it comes to a curl, okay? You can make a curl like so this is called my ballerina curl, where you're just spinning in the same place and it spins on through like so. Or you can go in and bring the curl, like, you know when you are making a ribbon, the plasticky kind, and you take scissors and you hold onto it and you straighten it out and it creates that curly, curly, curly. Okay, so envision yourself doing that with this but we're going to turn it and pull forward, 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 and then spin it and look what you got. So all you had to do is that first turn and then slide forward and you get a curl. So I hope that helped you. My very favorite thing when it comes to curls is to never just leave the curl in the curl. I always work it in, work it out, add texture spray. I never leave it alone with how it was you will always see me messing with the curl, getting it loose. My hands are dry, so my hair's staticky. Getting it loose as I work within that hair. I hope you like this tutorial. We'll talk to you next time.